Until recently, there were around 6,000 public and privately owned buses operating in Thailand's capital Bangkok. Many were more than 20 years old and emitted high levels of pollutants. With this in mind, Energy Absolute Public Company Limited decided to use its core businesses to take concrete action against climate change. Replacing most of the privately owned buses with new electric vehicles would significantly improve air quality and generate additional social and environmental benefits. The problem of it is that the cost of the diesel is much lower than the cost of the diesel. We think, how do we do it to close the gap in the cost of 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 the cost. และไม่เป็นภาระของประชาชนเพราะเราไม่อยากขึ้นค่าตัวโดยสาร Thailand has set its greenhouse gas emissions reduction target in its nationally determined contribution NDC Article 6 of the Paris Agreement enables additional climate action through international financial support In June 2022 Thailand therefore signed a cooperation agreement with Switzerland Energy Absolute's Bangkok e-bus program is one of the first in the world to be launched under Article 6. It is authorized by Thailand and Switzerland and is financially supported by the Click Foundation. And the most important thing is that the income of the money from the e-bus from e-bus from e-bus we have a support in the form of carbon financing from the Click Foundation. That is the carbon credit that we have from the e-bus from the e-bus. เราก็เจเนเรตขึ้นมาเซอร์ติฟายให้เรียบร้อยตามมาตรฐานแล้วเราขายไปให้สวิตเซอร์แลนด์ก็คือคลิกฟาวเดชันเพื่อได้เงินส่วนหนึ่งมาปิดแกลบนะครับของการลงทุนที่สูงขึ้นของรถเมล์ไฟฟ้าครับผม The Bangkok e-bus program is additional to Thailand's NDC. It will lead to cumulative reduction in CO2 emissions of more than 500,000 tons by 2030. To avoid double counting. Corresponding adjustments will be applied. Do you have an idea for your own emissions reduction program? <laughs>